All right, guys, it's time for a mail call. We've got some parts in the mail here from Amazon, and we've also got a little letter here that I want to get to. Uh, what I've got in the box here goes to the X Match, which is up on the bench. And uh, if you guys have been following the last video, you'll know that I tore up the uh, the front differential, the ring and the pinion gears. So we got some new ones on order here, as well as one other thing inside of this box, which I'll show you here in a second. So first of all, got the new ring, all of the teeth, which are very important. So they'll get. The, uh, the two front teeth back for the X-Max and then this is the the front uh, pinion. So both of those are in here. But what I also picked up while I was ordering stuff was uh, Castle Creations. A lot of you guys probably will know what this is. For those of you that don't, we'll take a look. No, it's not a nice fast motor or anything cool like that. But what I did get was a cooling fan set here to put on the motor over the heat sink. I hear it's a tight fit, so we'll uh, install this and see how that goes. Get the X Max back up and running here for us. I haven't really needed this. Um, it's just kind of an extra precaution. I'm not sure if I, you know, if it's waterproof or stuff like that. I might destroy it right away the way that I run my X Max. So, uh, yeah, it's just I've seen a lot of people running it. Thought I'd give it a try, see if I can get those uh, temps down just a little bit. But I've kept it in the safe zone. But I do want to change out some of the uh, the gearing, and uh, I might run some higher temps. So uh, this might come in handy. So let's get this off of here. And uh, well, let's first let's look at our mail here, all the way from Belgium. RC VHX 22 Xavier man thanks for the stickers these things are really sick looking um, got you know four small ones two big ones black white just uh, really really nice cool uh, tough looking graphics there it says on the back he's got a little note here right on the sticker it says hey bro hope you're doing fine thank you very much for your support these are my stickers for you thanks Xavier so We'll get those on the board, which is now on the other side. Still kind of working out what I want to do here. It's not exactly set up how I want to have it. Uh, primarily for working, uh, doing the videos. It's kind of cluttered and all of that. So I'll try and clean some things up here over the next couple weeks. But it's nothing that's going to stop me from doing the videos and working on the car. So uh, it's a little small, the area for the X-Max. But um, mainly because of these uh, hang-on shelving that I got that's the Home Depot Husky mount so those stick out a little bit which cramps in the space a little bit it should be the same size as the other bench that I have but it feels smaller I don't know maybe the TV maybe everything just being so cluttered but um, let's get it on the the bench we'll uh, start taking apart these uh, the differential ring take that off and we'll get it all installed again and up and running so let's do it all right guys the one thing I'm definitely missing right now over here is my overhead work light right up there I have a uh, garage door that actually swings above me here so I can't have that same overhead work light so I have to try and work some other system out that would maybe hang a little bit lower so uh, just taking a quick look at this try and get this bearing off again this was ready to run so I didn't have to assemble this and being honest in the months that I've had this I have not actually taken this all apart and gone into it. I know a lot of people have gone in and uh, redone the diffs because they said that it didn't have enough diff oil. I don't actually know if this bearing is going to slide over this or not. It's really hanging up on there. I don't know if it's because of the dirt. Let's see if maybe just taking this off if it pulls apart and it slides off the other direction. I am not sure, like I said. <laughs> Ah, I just stabbed myself. Man, these are long. Alright, so there is the opened up diff. It does seem to be a little bit light on the, uh, the oil, as people have said. 
right, I'm not gonna lie. So uh, I pulled out the manual and actually inside here, there's actually a little bolt so or screw. So I've actually got to take that out and that should allow it to come off and get that uh, bearing off of there as well as pop this uh, this gear off. So there we go. Now we have it apart. And so now we can take this bearing off because I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, I've got it wedged on there. Let me go ahead and PB blast this bad boy, get it cleaned up before we put it back on because it's rather dirty. So we will pop this off as well as this seal. First we'll go and do the cleanup and then we will do the install. So I'm going to do the cleanup off camera guys. Just going to take some of this PB blaster here, put it into a little container, soak them for a bit, clean them off, and then we'll re-lube them up. Alright guys, so I've got it all cleaned up. Unfortunately I don't have the right weight of silicone oil for this diff. I'm going to go ahead and just use a little bit of marine grease on some of these parts. Uh, that are not on the internals of the uh, the diff as we uh, tighten it all back up and then uh, we'll put this on in here like so and we'll put this screw back in to pull them back together however first I need to put the, the bearing in I almost forgot <laughs> that would have that would have been painful after screwing everything in so again, I'm putting some marine grease on here just lightly to kind of waterproof this. And there we go. There we have it. So that'll go on like this. There we go. Now we'll put this screw in. Put this back on like so. Screw on into here, and we should be good to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and snug this one the rest of the way until it's good and tight. Come across. Like so. There we go. So that is back together. So now we can get the X-Max on the bench. We'll put some marine grease on the pinion and slap it all back together and screw it all up. Screw it all up in a good way, not like mess it all up, screw it up. Like put the screws back in and get it ready to run tomorrow. All right, so I've got it on the bench here. I'm gonna try and clean this out, get some of the shavings out of here from the broken pieces of the, uh, the ring and the pinion because those are still down inside right now and so I've got to get them out. I don't want those metal shavings in here, those big metal chunks. There they come. That is looking nice and cleaned out in there now. Get into these grooves. There we go. Now she's ready. So we'll get this uh, pinion out. Put some marine grease on it, get it into position, and then we'll put the diff in. So, time to get my finger all messy again. I'm gonna lube this thing up. Yeah. Don't want any friction here. We want these things to be meshing nicely. Waterproof it. There we go. So you're going to want this on the, the uh, passenger side. There's actually a little notch here, it looks like, that would keep it from going in the wrong way. And so we're going to go ahead and put this in. So I'm going to pull this out again to get the dog bone in. And then we'll try and slide it in with them in place. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and we'll just clean this out a bit here. Uh, what I didn't do though... Haha. <laughs> So I didn't lube up this uh, the ring. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that with some good old marine grease as well. Get that all lubed up. Let's 
spin it around here using the wheels. Get a nice application on here. The whole thing spins, so I'm just going to coat it all. We go ahead and hit the other side bearing as well while I'm here because I didn't do that when it was out. All right, so that all looks good. That was kind of a shoddy way of doing things, but it looks like we're uh, we're nice and lubed up now. Right. I like to take mine into water, so I like to have it waterproofed as much as possible. So this cover is going to slide on like so. We'll put our bolts back in and we'll get back in just a second. Alright, now I've got one extra step because I noticed when I was uh, taking this apart the other day that I was missing one of the screws that went on the back here to hold this little uh, retaining pin in place that runs through the axle. So I have another one of them on hand from another time that I'd uh, broken and lost some. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in here while I'm, uh, while I'm at it. Make sure I don't lose that pin or have it slide out and uh, bend. All right, so that's good. I've decided against uh, replacing the bumper at this point in time because I'm actually taking it out for a pretty good, uh, I think, bash session tomorrow that would probably destroy a new bumper. So we're going to keep the old one and I'm actually not going to clean it because I'm taking this apart soon. I'm going to get that other diff in. I'll do a whole strip down uh, when I do the rear diff, front diff, uh, put new oil in and all that. I'll give it a really good cleaning. So for now, I'm just going to assemble it uh, as is and uh, that way I can get it back out and running here tomorrow. Alright guys, well Traxxas has made it really easy for us to work on the front differential. I love how easy it was to access. I uh, could have done it a whole lot faster if I wasn't recording it and I had the parts on hand. I probably would have been done with that job in maybe 30 minutes. Uh, that wasn't the case because I had to order parts and I was trying to film and get in and all of that. Slows it down a little bit. I'm going to do the fan in a different video. I don't need it. I'm going to be, like I said, taking it out and running. I'm sweating in here, so I want to be done for the night. Got to get up early for a, a trail run with the SCX-10. So if you guys made it this far, I don't know how many of you make it this far into videos like this, but if you did, leave a comment below saying uh, that Traxxas X Max is bad to the bone. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll enter you for a drawing. I'm going to give away a shirt just like the one I'm wearing. And uh, so if you guys watch this, you made it all the way to the end, if you leave that comment, I will, uh, I will do a little raffle, put your names into a little uh, spreadsheet or something, have uh, it randomized online, and in one week I'll give one away. So it is Saturday the 6th, so next Saturday the 13th is when I will do the drawing and I will make that known. And then I will order up one of these and get it mailed to you. So uh, again, be sure to put in the X Max is bad to the bone or an iteration of that. And I know that you made it to the end and you'll be entered because you stuck it out through a painful video watching me work on the ring and pinion of the X Max. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Tony here. If you're watching this later, sorry if you missed the drawing, but thanks for watching to the end. And we'll catch you guys later. Have fun RCing.